Hey guys, this is Kickstarter Less Rights. This is uh, our show where we talk about the Kickstarters that are nearing the end of their time on a platform. We have a small condensed show this week with only three Kickstarters. So stay tuned as we talk about some amazing Kickstarters and talk about uh, why you should be backing them. You guys can hear Jacks in the background trying to get excited about uh, food apparently. Or not getting something he wants. All right. Um, here we go. We're going to talk about all the amazing things that we always talk about. Like the $1 can make a dream come true. $1 can show support, attract attention, help fund projects, support indie comic book creators, and help create new worlds. We also have... We also have to talk about how Written Sins is always your place for creativity and helping creators promote their different works and their different projects. It's a support system. We recently have come to the realization that what we are is an advocating site for indie comics and creators, and we are the International Digital Comic Con. And this is our, our list today. On our list today, we're going to have the Star Claws trilogy. We're going to explain more about what that means. We're going to talk about Disturbia, and we're going to talk about Villain. Jax has been bribed with some candy so we can get the show on the road. Uh, we're going to start off today with Star Claws. And I'm actually going to talk over the video, so pardon me while I set up my announcer's voice, because there is some uh, copyright questionable content um more than likely it's free to use but it's very similar to something that is copywritten so we're going to just err on the side of caution here we go far away platform known as kickstarter star claws came to life a long time ago in a birdhouse far far away star claws I know you guys are excited. You're, you wanted to see the scroll. Here comes the scroll. It's a period of civil war and terrible puns. It's also a period where the galaxy is populate, overpopulated entirely by birds for some reason. Anyway, there's some good birds, some bad birds, and even some robo-birds. How cool is that? Actions, adventure, trill, thrills, spells, epic space battles with awesome lives or swords. Wow, someone should really film this. Star Wars, you say? What a coincidence. This is called Star Claws. You were warned about those puns. So sit back, relax, grab your bird seat, and revisit the classic trig elegy as you've never seen it before. This is Star Claws. Star Claws is a graphic novel that, collected th that collects three stories in one trade back. In this volume, we're going to be able to give you to read Star Claws, the Empire Strike Backs, and the Return of the Jedi. G I think it's Jedi. Um, this is, of course, created by the Swamp Line Comics. You guys know them very well. It's a UK independent publishing house created by Chris Allen and Kim Roberts. You guys know how much I love both Chris and uh, Kim Roberts' work. Uh, amazing creators. They write and produce a number of comics and produce the horror anthology Tomb of Horror. And uh, for Star Wars, they teamed up with Ariel Lackey. Um, Lacia, maybe? Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's L-A-C-C-I. I say Lackey, but maybe it's Lacia. Um, I should have checked that. I apologize for that if I'm getting the name wrong. So, you guys are seeing some of the amazing uh, art from the project, and it is very, very uh, time. It's very, very well timed today. Having it out with Star Wars here, it's doing fantastically well. Already 300% over its regular asking, or I shouldn't say regular asking, but its actual goals. So that is fantastic. Uh, we're going to talk about Disturbia in a second, which is also from Swamp Line. But before we jump ahead, let's take a look. And that's what this Kickstarter talk is all about. It's being able to take a look into it. So here it is. This is a new flock. It's a period of civil war. Rebels, ducklings, striking from a hidden base have won their first victory against the egg, the evil galactic egg pyre. During the battle, rebel birdies managed to steal secret plans to the egg pyre's ultimate weapon, the Teth Nest, an armored nest uh, station with 
Enough power to destroy an entire planet. Pursued by the Egg Pyre's sinister agents, Princess Lair races home aboard her starship, custodian of the stolen planes that can save her people and restore freedom to the galaxy. So um, you guys can hear me giggling. I can't even keep too much of a straight face while actually trying to uh, to listen to this, uh, to read this. I mean, it, it just it makes me giggle. I got to be honest, it, it's fun, you know, and I love comics that are fun. Uh, I think that sometimes some comics are too serious. So I'm very, very thrilled to see that this is having fun with things. Um, and by fun with things, I mean the audience, because obviously this is an invite to you guys to partake in something that is fantastic and fun, because I really do think that sometimes some of these books that we have coming out um, kind of miss the humor that could be out there. And I'm always happy to see people like some of them are very serious. I'm kind of guilty of that. A lot of my things are serious, but I do try to, even in every book, there's kind of like a little bit of sense of humor. So. You know, this reminds me of Spaceballs, which I just recently saw someone talking about 80s movies, and I realized that that was made in the 80s. That's how old it was. But I love Spaceballs. It's actually one of my favorite movies growing up. So um, I am a big fan of it. And you guys can see there's some sample pages here that I think are great. The only thing I think they got wrong right here is that obviously uh, an egg trooper, I think maybe they're called, actually hits Princess layer which is, we know never happened in star wars stormtroopers don't hit anything uh so you have the amazing characters duck like saber uh, and i can't i can't do this without kind of googling that's for those of you on facebook that was my my little dog roxy is uh running underneath the uh, camera stand the monopod but there is cheapio and r2 tweet 2 and see i can't i can't keep to this i don't know, with a serious tone in my in my uh voice because it makes me laugh too much princess layer yodelo <laughs> and this this makes me this is a, a very laughable funny thing to me obi-wan ken can no break can no big can no beak and then uh nando cala chicken and hans krola of course there's chubika and dark waiter <laughs> and of course the egg pyre palantine and uh, what would it where would it be without bobo feather if <laughs> oh the penguin troopers that's what they are the penguin troopers uh so i mean obviously you guys hear me giggling i think it's funny uh i think it's kind of fantastic uh right here you can be part of the book so you can actually be a chicken and fight the dark menace uh, this is Return of the Jedi. I mean, it's well put together. It's timed very well. The art is fantastic. It's got some great rewards. You just saw you could be drawn into the book as a duck. I know you've always wanted to be a duck. Why wouldn't you have always wanted to be a duck? Here comes Jax. He wants to be a, a duck himself. He's calling for some uh, some milk behind me. Hear him. Um, last time we did this, actually, he was sitting in my lap and he was laughing at some of these pictures. So. Even at three, he understands the value of the fun this can be. So I definitely suggest that you guys check it out. It is a fantastic looking book. Uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is something that it doesn't look like it insults it. It looks like it just complements the story and turns it on its birdhouse and makes it something very different. Um, we are going to move on to our next uh, book, but really quickly, I just wanted to show you that the one thing I like about a lot of the the books that come from Swamp Line is that they do have very affordable packages. Uh, you can get the graphic novel right here uh, digitally for five dollars. It's not bad. You get the bonus edition right here with bonus uh, features. It would have been funny if they put bonus feathers. And then you can get the Star Close graphic novel right here. So that's kind of cool. I really dig it. I really appreciate it. We're going to go on to Disturbia, which, like I said, is from the same group, Swamp Line Productions. This one's about a young group of teens that are more than bargained for in an abandoned asylum. It's kind of strange. It's kind of like a stranger thing. Um, of course, this is by Roberts, Allen, and this time around to be the artist is uh, Capper. 
Okay, Disturbia is the latest horror comic from Swamp Line Comics. Step back into the 1980s in this new supernatural tale by Kim Roberts, Mark Harper, and Chris Allen. It's Halloween night, and a group of bored teens have decided to break into an abandoned asylum on the outskirts of town. Lurking in the old basement, they find something that will change their lives forever. Disturbia Issue 1 is a 36-page full-color comic with bonus content. For fans of the 1980s and Stranger Things, this could be the comic you've been waiting for. Swamp Line is UK's publisher and publishes a number of comics you might have known and heard about on this very show, Kickstarter Talk, including Resurrected, Voodoo Curse, Soulless, Dragonstein, Toothville, Star Claws, and Tomb of Horrors Anthologies. It is, it's on Halloween. How can you go wrong with a book that's on Halloween? My upcoming uh, Kickstarter on February 14th, entitled Fetish Babies Mentor Search. We're actually going to go with Mentor Search on the new book uh, to kind of separate it from the other one. So, because if you look up Fetish Babies, you get all the original books. So, we're going to use it. Uh, we will, of course, keep it's under the same title and will be part of the graphic novel Fetish Babies, but this story will go with Mentor Search. It's taking place on Halloween, so it's very cool. And you guys can get, like, I mean, the cool thing about this is they encompass the entire Swamp Line, line of compasses, and you guys can get some amazing books in here, and you can see their Tomb of Horror bundles, there's the Horror Comic Bundle, and there's some Disturbia prints. It looks fantastic. It looks fun. I think it's timed well. It's kind of interesting that uh, I don't know. If, yeah, she's wearing it, but you can see her face. That's kind of an interesting artistic touch right there where you guys can see underneath their masks to see their faces. I think that's cool. That's kind of badass. You know, and well, teens always get in trouble. Let's just be honest. There, there are so many movies made about teens getting in trouble because that's what teens do. They get in trouble. And again, it's kind of cool with the, the packages here. They're kind of affordable for a printed copy. It's just five bucks. That's right. A 36 page comic book for five bucks and it ships anywhere in the world. Um, shipping for me would be five bucks in the U S so very excited about that. It's not bad considering it's coming from the UK, you know, pretty awesome. And finally, we're going to talk about once it loads, there it goes. We haven't had this on. We did a review earlier today. And on that review, we had actually used some stock photo from this. So this is Villain 2, and we're going to look at it right now. This is the first time you can ask me to see the video. So kind of badass and i think you'd agree uh, i just did the review and just read the first book i gotta say wow i was really i really really liked it uh the darkness of the book the way that it was drawn the way that it was illustrated it really makes me want to read this book uh i'm really excited to, to do to be part of seeing the continuing story uh the first book is about a criminal who's just gotten out of prison who's trying to make things right and trying to live the uh as they would call it, the civilian life, but can't seem to manage it because of uh, there's a vigilante kind of poking at him and society's not exactly kind to ex-convicts. So uh, he, he looks like he's about to get himself into some trouble in this second issue. He also rescued a young lady who is slowly becoming his love interest, and uh, she's a former heroin addict who was tried to be killed by some crazy ass guy in the first issue. And that guy's still around. So I'm sure that we're gonna see him pop up in this book some point. 
So it, it's got an honest, ongoing, established story that is fantastic. I'm excited to be talking about it with you guys. I definitely am a fan of it. I already said it was Anderson approved. You guys can see my review right here. I'm not going to play it or anything like that. Don't worry. Um, but it is live and ready to go right here from the YouTube feed. And once Facebook gets done cooking it, I'll have it put up. I, I'm really a big fan of it. And you guys can see there's a little preview on the cover there. Um, it is made by, I want to get the names right here. So I actually have them now written out phonetically because these were these were a little harder for me to get. I'm getting better with them now. So I've said them enough. All right, so uh, this is from Eveline's Publishing, bringing Metzger and Pazlox uh, presents Villain is back on Kickstarter with the second issue in the Nor Air, Nor Air edition, variant by Joshua Metzger and Gozgosh Pazlock. Gozgosh, I think Pazlock. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your first name wrong. You can now support them on Kickstarter. Amazing creators doing amazing work. I am really a huge fan of of this story, and I'm not even kidding. Like, you know, I know it's my job to get on here and excite you all and tell you how great these comics are, and they are. For, I mean, I live a great life. I get to read all these comics. I get to talk about these comic books with you guys. It's so much fun to see the the creative juices of the uh, Evoluzanine brand. Uh, I think I say that right. I got to ask uh, Marcel if, if I got that right. Because uh, for a while, people were telling me his name was Markel, and it's Marcel. And it's kind of funny, the English language that way, how we, we kind of mess it up. But, yeah, this is, a, this is a very good book. And I'm very excited about the second book. I mean, you guys can see that you can get some cool stuff. With this, we always look at it. Now in every show, you know I have to do it. I have to show you how easy it is to share this. Now sharing is getting a little harder and harder on Facebook. But if you're sharing someone else's stuff, it's still pretty easy. No one gets upset at you when you share anyone else's stuff. So what you want to do, though, to, to, to make sure that that evil algorithm doesn't try to tell you that you're being spam or anything like that, Here's what you do. You write something in. You write about how you're a fan. You know, I'll do this. I read issue one today, and now I cannot wait to read this once it gets off of Kickstarter. And now I'm sending a message to everyone who reads my post, and I'm a fan of this, and I'm excited about it. And they know, they know that they have that I, I'm just excited about it. It's probably worth checking out because they know that I do reviews, but I don't review every book. They know some books don't get reviewed by me because they're not ready. So I'm not giving you guys shit. Never done it. Never will do it. If the book ain't good, I'm not going to tell you it's good. Sort of value to it. It's got to be interesting. It's got to be something that's fun. Um, of course, there's different opinions about different things. We all know that with Star Wars as it just came out and people were, were getting pissy with each other about it. But in the most part, you know, you can generally tell if something's at least worth watching. And I said that about Star Wars. It was worth watching. And this is beyond worth checking out. Um, we are currently at the end of our program. I would like to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, please do bag the villain and all the amazing projects that we have talked about today. We'll be back next week. Until then, I look forward to talking to you guys about more Sims in the near future.